and now that we are advanced in the admin part the next thing to do is to start working on the customer part and first thing to do is to log out the current admin so for make this let's go back to admin and let's say that you want to add a basic button let's say i want it in the in php file and just add just add a button where you want and we already created a logout button so you need just to call the logout button and say that here you want to log out later we will make the appearance look better so we have, we have this logout button and now when we click on it we log out the admin and if you remember the logout script we already write it but if you forget we start just a session we destroy the session and we redirect okay now that we log out the admin next thing to do is to start working for the customer and you remember that the entry point of our access is this login form and it's not better the entry point of our app will be a website where customer can come to look for different car so for make this let's close the admin folder in the view and go into index php here in the view create a new file a new file and call it login after created move all content of the index file in this login file let's cut all and pass all of this in the login and let me close all thing and reduce this reduce this one and now if we come back on our website you will see it that it will be blank let us check okay save this and pass all of the content in this login and save it and now if we come back to the browser you will see that our bro our website will be blank okay so we will not focus on the design to make it very beautiful we will focus on the logic code to make it working and after when we will finish the admin and the customer side we will start we will manage if we can make the website look better but in this course we will use bootstrap to make things very easy so first thing to do is to go to bootstrap or your web browser and search bootstrap navigation because we already have bootstrap installed in our project so you need to just check for bootstrap navigation and take the first link it will bring you on the bootstrap website and when you are on the website just navigate bottom and select one select one of them and let's go back to the index file and start the page let's say the title of is not document is it will be online parental and on the body you just pass the content of the, the content that you copy from bootstrap and now if you come back and you refresh your app you will see that we have this design broken that appear okay so the next thing to do is to link bootstrap to our project so we already have bootstrap and for link it i recommend you to take the cdn version so let's go to bootstrap and type cdn and copy the cdn link to your browser main but we already have bootstrap in our course in our project so let's link our existing bootstrap and in the sheet let's say we have a link and let's say request the sheet and it's not css let's manage this one it will be asset it will be in the css folder and inside the css folder let me check the structure we have a login and bootstrap are in admin include 
Why did we put this drop? Did we add new in view? Back end and we include we have the header and this header okay thank sorry the thing was in admin in asset admin and after admin it will be it was bootstrap distribution version css and you just need to take bootstrap main css and just remove this one and this one too and this one and just this one <coughs> and now if you refresh you will get the search by working but i think that is very hard so let's go from scratch go to bootstrap cdn and copy the cv cdn go back to your project and remove change the content of the href with this one and now I come back and refresh they will you we will get the same design and the next thing to take is to go to bootstrap and take the javascript path and copy it go to your browser and open the script tag and give it the source and says that we want it to load after the page change and now I come back come back to this screen and if you refresh all will be working okay so the first thing to do is to change the title by is now by let's say car rental and you we will remove the the search because we don't need it from now okay and here it will be um let's say we don't need the drop down we just use the home and the link and let's remove the disable and here will be cars and let's remove the current because we don't need it okay we have a screen that is working so this is our navigation bar and the next thing to work on is the content because you just want to, to display the available card on the screen so let's say star content here and and content here okay now for start the content we need to open a div and we give it the class of container to make all of our content in the container so and, and after adding the container we need to create a row and inside the row we need to create a class and the class will be called md let's say six and let's see on mobile device you want to wait to have 12 and here we, will, we want to have one card with our car cars did i so go back now to bootstrap again and search bootstrap card when search for bootstrap card you need just to take the first link and the first thing will bring you on this web page you need just scroll and we will choose one specific image let's go down and let's say we take this one you, you can just copy the code and pass it and this one will be represented our scars so if i come back to my browser and i refresh we have this we image okay so on this screen we want to fetch all cards from the database so let's go back to our php and start to deal with it 
and if you remember we have one include function inside the admin so we don't want to use this one let's say we don't want to use this one we will write our query here let's say dollar fetch gas it will be equal to first let's require the database it's in the config folder and is database and let's not forget to end and this will be the database connection and we want to make a prepare request and we want to select all from cars and we need you to execute this request and by processing like this you get all cars in this variable so we forget it we need to make a loop on this variable to to make a loop on our array our, our table so forget him let's go back here and when where we start when we start the card before starting the card we need to open our loop here let me close this make it clean to see and we open the php here and we make the for each loop and it was as the result and here let's say you want to fetch all method to fetch all and if this query are called if this query are called now we want to put the the card the card layout inside so for the card layout it's not something big it's just some card some max wave and this thing like this so let's just save and if you refresh now you will get something empty why is where is empty let's come back here and let's say you want to echo want to count the row that we get from this query and why we have zero maybe i have cleaned the database let me check let me check we have co here maybe i have cleaned all of the cars available in the database let's see car rental and cars and here hive delete all so sorry and no problem we will deal with it so inside our loop we want to have the card title and in our case is not the card title the data come from the database and it's we we'll call it at a result and here is name because in our data in database the name of a car is in the name colon okay and here we can have just some description and bottom here we will, we will say that open php bracket again and if dollar result and is available is different to one to zero echo cars available for booking and now let's close this